let's look at how to convert decimal numbers to hexadecimal numbers. And I'm going to start with the number 254. So the first thing I want to do is take the number I'm trying to convert 254 and I want to divide it by 16. I want to divide it by 16 because hexadecimal is base 16. So that's where that 16 comes from. When I do this conversion, I want to make note of two things. I want to make note of the integer that 16 will go into 54 by, and I want to know what my remainder is. And so 254 divided by 16 is going to be equal to 15.875. So the integer is going to be equal to 15. The remainder is also really important, and you can always figure out the remainder by doing the 16 times what the whole number is, so 15, and subtracting those two numbers, so 254 minus 240, and we get a remainder of 14. The remainder is important because it shows us what one of the hex values are. So we take this 14 remainder and we match it up with decimal, and we match it up and we pick the hex equivalent, so E. So right here, this value is E. Now, what we want to do is we want to take the integer value and then divide that by 16. So 15 divided by 16. Well, this goes in zero times. We have a remainder of, let me choose a different color, but this goes in zero times. We have a remainder of 15. We look at what our remainder is. We find that it's an F. So this value right here is an F. And now we have the two values, but we still need to reverse the order. So we're going to have to write them this way. So 254 is equal to hexadecimal F E. And you should be able to check this. You can convert this to binary. You can uh, do the, you can try to reconvert from hex to decimal, and you'll get this is equal to 254. So let's look at a different example, but we're going to use the same procedure. We're going to look at 80,491, and we're going to start by dividing this by 16. And what we get is our integer is 5,030, and our remainder is going to be Uh, 16 times 5,030 and subtract these two numbers from each other. So 8491 minus 8480. And we get a remainder of 11. And let me actually, again, just change the color so I can try to keep this a little bit color coded. So my integer value is 5,030. My remainder is 11. Now, the first thing I do is I look at 11 and I match up 11 to decimal, uh, decimal 11 to hex. And I get that this value right here is a B. So now I take my integer 5,030 and divide that by 16. And I get that's equal to 314. Now, what's this remainder? So 314 times 16, 5,024, 5,030. The difference is 6, so I have a remainder of 6. What is decimal 6? Decimal 6 is right here. That's equal to a hexadecimal 6. So my second value uh, that I've found is a 6. Okay. Repeat the procedure. The 314 gets divided by 16. we get that this is equal to 19. My remainder is going to be 100, oops, it's uh, 19 times uh, 16. My remainder is going to be a 10, 314 minus 304. What is decimal 10? Decimal 10 is hexadecimal A. So this value right here will be an A. Take my 19 and divide my 19 by 
16. We could probably do the rest in our head, but this is going to be a one. So we have a one with a remainder of three. Three is decimal three is hex three. Okay, take this one, bring it over here and do one divided by 16. All right, now our integer remainder is zero. Our, uh, our integer is zero. Our remainder is one. Decimal one is equal to hex one. And let's uh, forget to fix my colors. So that's uh, three and one. And then we read it off this way. So 80,491 is equal to hex one, three, A, six, B. So hopefully this shows you how you can convert to decimal how you can convert decimal to hexadecimal. So you're going to divide the number by 16, get the integer and the remainder, figure out what your remainder is in a decimal to hexadecimal conversion, and continue those steps until you get to a remainder of zero, and then write your hexadecimal value in the reverse order.